found our way here to a road. In like the middle of nowhere. Bob's Road here. <laughs> Jim Bob's back road. Right. Oh, we got a cabin. Or garage. Or something. And we also got snow. That dreaded white stuff. All right guys, welcome back to another adventure. As you can see behind me, there's a stone wall, but it's not just a stone wall. It's got tunnels in it. And the cool thing about these tunnels is we found out that this, this is the Galitzin Tunnel, which is sealed off. And then over here, this one's the Allegheny Tunnel, which as you can see, was enlarged in 1995. And it has a length of 3,600 feet. I do have a closer up of that other plaque above it, so I'll add that in as a picture. But you'll also see from our footage some of the trains that we caught as we were actually coming up here. We were following one up that went through this direction, and then as we were walking into this, another one came out the other direction. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting to see if we can get another one coming out, but haven't been lucky so far. We did just have another one come out, that tunnel over there. There's a, a third tunnel on that side that can, comes across that bridge, which you'll see in some of my other footage. All right, as you can see from here, you got the mainline tunnel over here to the left, and then this is the abandoned portal that was sealed up on the other end. It's fenced off on this end. I do have some shots I can throw in from the Panasonic camera. You can also see the rails are still here. There's actually somebody had put some 
pallets here but yeah the rails are still here running that direction we do have a train coming out of the third tunnel over there there's another another tunnel on the other side of that but this kind of intrigued us too trying to figure out what this could have been so i wanted to see if i can get over here it's all water around it so see if there was a way to get up there to check it out or at least get closer so you guys can see it there's some kind of portal there but what it is or what it was don't know but this concrete here is as tall as me so for me to try to jump up on that is not going to work too well so I'm not going to make it up there this way To see if there's a way to get around but I'll give you a closer look somebody's been up there with uh, graffiti and they actually made like a little almost looks like a haunted house or something painted on there they even did some nice artwork up top there but that definitely looks like it could have been a tunnel of some sort what it was for, I don't know. And there's some stonework all around that. And it would make sense that this platform here is right next to where the rails are. Because you got the rails here and then the platform right there. So you'd be able to come out to whatever rail cars would be on this line. Plus, if you look on that side, Jay thinks that might may have been an old switching tower. We're gonna have to see if we can do some research on that, see if we can figure out what that was. And here comes the snow again.
again this is out near Altoona Horseshoe Curve it is right down right down the road <laughs> um, which we do have plans of going there tomorrow myself and JP videos um, as of this point we're probably gonna pack up and go to the other side of the tunnel and check out a couple other locations in the area so I gotta go get my other camera because it's actually over there so all right so we made our way to the other side of the tunnel and on this side there's actually some museum type artifacts and uh, little kitty area kids to play on and then also nice little piece of Pennsylvania Railroad history right here this is actually a museum which is closed right now but take a walk up and take a peek inside maybe and they actually have a screen door on there so you can get in and out we got pictures inside. Conrail train going through the tunnel there. That's pretty neat. Picture of that up on the wall. And lots of pictures down here to my left. So that's pretty cool. We got this nice platform, walking deck, handicapped accessible for wheelchairs. So you got steps and a ramp to get up to it. Sorry for the wind noise. I don't want to like the wind. Attractions. I'm going to give you another look at this side of it. And you can actually see the tunnels already as I'm walking around here. Or the tunnel, I should say. I should say. on the tunnel so it was built in 1854 and 1904 because there actually are two tunnels here the length is 3612 feet with the 24 feet cost $125 per linear foot so if you want to read the rest of that you're more than welcome to pause it take a look at that So here you got a view already of the tunnels. The unused one on the left and then the currently used one on the right. So this goes under the entire town. So we're going to make our way over to this bridge over here for a better vantage point. Here we got in the brick a giant keystone. Plus, I noticed when we parked one of the original keystones from the tunnel. This is the uh, police station, also the museum. This is one of the original keystones from the Allegheny Tunnel. I'm going to read that there. So, yeah, that's. The original keystones right there that's pretty neat there's a nice shot here of the tunnels with that caboose and there's a sign so of course as we were pulling up there was a train already coming out so we missed out on that one so we're gonna be waiting here for a few minutes to actually catch one So here is an interesting little, let me give you, they got the fence here for protection from going off the side and then they give you these uh, viewing windows, I guess you can call them, so you can actually get out and see the tunnel. 
You can also see right there, that's the sealed off portion that Conrail sealed off. So now this side, like you said, like we said, is completely sealed off, but the other side is visible. You can see in it, but there is some collapse going on in there. I think I might hear a train. So we'll move closer to the other. And these windows, viewing windows, are on both sides of the bridge. Alright, we're wussing out. It's too cold. We don't feel like waiting anymore. We're moving on to the next location.